Welcome to your daily guidance. Let's see, what is the general message today? And before I started, I actually got the word warrior, truth warrior. Journey, a truth warrior going on a journey. Maybe I don't need cards. <laughs> They're entertaining though. Um, interesting, going on a journey as a truth warrior. Well, you're going through the gates of triumph. Success expands in your life when you do that. If there's some kind of truth that you have not fully embraced um, or have kind of hidden or kept under a bush, then um, it's time to it's time to come out of this darkness and go through that gate, and you will have triumph and success. And look at that sun in the background. That's what you're walking toward. Let's see if you go like this. So much prettier. The further you closer you get to it. <laughs> that is going to be happening for you. <clears throat> you are protected. You are protected by the angels, so don't you worry about that. Um <laughs> I just saw that smile on his face. He's got like he says, we got this. We got this. See that? Don't you even worry. We got this. Oh, and he's holding the sword of truth. You are cherished by the angels. You are, they just said you're hand-picked for this journey. Hand-picked and raised for this. Little did you know. <laughs> okay, taking shelter. The answers are within. So... It looks like you're being led to your ultimate home. Um, so it, and it's like you can't really see your path because it's all snowed over, right? Maybe that's the gate you need to go through is the gate to your home. So when you're in a situation like this, you really just have to trust your gut because you don't know what's underneath that snow. There could be a pond that's frozen over, but not quite. It could fall through it, you know? It's a little treacherous. Could be. But just keep your inner lantern lit for what it is home is to you and make your way. Um, yeah, make sure you're warmly dressed. I also, this also makes me think of the parable about um, having your, you know, having enough gas for your lantern. Um, so I, I feel like this is also encouraging you guys for preparation, like prepare. Hope, hopefully you have, you know, I've been talking about how there'll be a blackout. Um, just, it could be like three to 14 days. So just be prepared for like two weeks worth of extra food. So you don't stress out or feel like you have to go anywhere. Cause it's, it's good for you to be hunkered down nice and warm in your home right now. Okay. Oh, look at you all stepping in your power. Look at you left the dark or you're leaving the dark. You are strong beyond measure. So don't you dare doubt yourself. You got your lantern, your inner lantern is that the intuitive sense within you telling you that you are indeed going in the right direction. You know it, you feel it, you sense it. You knew it the minute you met this person or this situation. Oh boy, here we go. This is it, you know? And now it's time that, you know, you've taken maybe some time to step into your power, but now, now you're there. And look at what's this guy doing in the background. He's just like, did he really just do that? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's <laughs> like, he's glowing, isn't he? Is he? I think he's glowing. I think he's actually glowing in the dark. What? <laughs> so look at how successful you're going to be. Once you step into your power and know that you're protected by the angels, you're going to you're going to go through the gates of triumph to your ultimate home. Take shelter within. Oh, they just said um you have to be your learn to be your own best friend. That lantern within is your only hope and it's within you so it can't go anywhere. Their lantern can burn out, your lantern cannot cuz you have that sun within you. So you just have to stay listening to that. You have to listen to your instincts. Wow, valiant courage, take action with passion. <laughs> and they just said now. So whatever this is that you're thinking of, you know, whatever journey, it's like your horse is ready, it's all decorated. 
you got a tent to stay in, you know, you got everything, everything's all good. Um, those pinkish clouds kind of make me think of sunset. Maybe, maybe you're going to get there at sunset. Maybe you're going to arrive. Oh, look at that. Kind of looks like it's starting to get dark too. So there might be, and that kind of looks like sunset. That kind of looks like sunset. Yeah. So maybe, you, I don't know, maybe you start off in the dark and end up arriving at sunset or something. There's some kind of relevance to those, to those colors. Okay. The bottom of the deck surrendering to the journey they're like would you just release control and go already quit going back and forth and vacillating back and forth the castle you're leaving behind the castle and you're going toward the, the house you don't want the castle anymore it's cold and dark so you're venturing out into the night again venturing into the night with the bright moon and your lantern to guide you do you guys remember a while ago in one of my readings, I had that six of swords. It was slinking away into the night like that. This reminds me of that. So it's like the six of swords, which means like, don't worry. Go away from any kind of drama or negativity. Just get the hell out of Dodge. Just get out of there. Go slow and take your time if you're uncertain. You know, as you go along, just keep listening to your instincts. And you'll be able to navigate because you got angels watching out for you, trying to help you go the right direction. Okay, so um, I feel like a romance card wants to come out. <sighs> oh, let passion drive you. And pay attention to the signs. Um, something about, yeah. Oh, pay attention to the red flags also. Oh, because when you're going through here and you're listening to your instincts, um, you're, there might be some little, if your gut tells you, you should stop and reconsider for a moment and like choose another path or go another way or maybe go around the bushes this way or go around this way or, you know, just trust your instincts the whole way to that. It's, you're not far from it. Look at, you're, you're pretty close. You can even see the house in the distance. So just go real careful and listen, listen to your, don't let your passion overcome you so much that you're just like trudging and being loud and walking right up to that gate. You know, just don't, don't be like all, you know, so cocky about it that you don't, that you're not careful and that you don't let, you know, set your ego aside and whatever you're going to be doing, set your ego aside and, um, yeah, let the passion lead you, but also be paying attention you know, be, be paying attention toward, you know, any kind of traps that could try to, and I, gosh, distractions or, or confuse you when you're fogged in, you're all confused. You're like, I don't know which direction to go. I don't know what I should do. Maybe it's time you get all these other people out of the boat and you just go by yourself on your own boat because you know what's best for you. You know what your own lantern is saying. Don't listen to these guys. They're Vikings anyway. They're awful. They're mean. They're horrible. They're taking you in a treacherous direction, right? Go, go away from that castle. Go away from the castle. Go toward the home with passion. And soon you will be holding someone like this in your home. Ooh. <laughs> this is getting long. Okay, I think I'll leave it there because that's just like, it's pretty darn clear, right? Let your friends help you. Maybe if, if you feel like someone's going to deceive you, I just said that. If it looks like someone might deceive you, ask your friends to help you through it. The friend or friends that you can actually trust that are really looking out for you. You know what? It could be your ex that tries something. It could be your that your ex tries to deceive you. Or maybe your friends can be a distraction somehow or help you with your plan. But they're saying ultimately trust. And soon you will be getting to know each other. Yay. All warm and cozy by the fire in your new home, in your starting your new life. And it'll be honorable. Look at both these guys look so honorable, don't they? They like they have like they have serious integrity. I don't know what's he pointing at. <laughs> He's like, we will go here, woman. This is the direction we will go in. She's like, okay. Wherever you say, <laughs> I'll go with you. <laughs> and over here, you know, 
These girls are listening to whatever he's having to say. He's like, I'm serious. I'm, I'm totally serious. I'm serious. They're, she's like, ha, 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 ha. This one's like, huh, what if he is actually serious? Could he be serious? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but the guy in both of these is is charming and he's got integrity. You know, he just, he just has integrity. Like he's going to prove his point, whatever he's got to do. He's, he will, he, he's like, you guys better listen to me because I'm totally telling you the, the serious truth here. You listen to me. Um, so, and look, there's like little, little angels helping the whole time, the whole while. So, maybe you'll have to do some forgiving and learning and, and you'll have to give that re relationship truly a chance. You've had to learn to forgive yourself first and then you had to free yourself from somebody. You know, and this separation kind of, it, it kept you yearning for this other person, realizing how much they mean to you because you couldn't get your mind or your heart off of them. All you wanted to do was that. But, you know, you may have to ask somebody to forgive you. And it may be hard for them to hear. But you'll ultimately end up like this if you get, if you trust. If you just trust. Because you deserve love. And it's time to make the effort. And this relationship will be worth waiting for. Mm-hmm. 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 So just do that when you get home. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a past life relationship. So you guys are really familiar with each other, you know? It's going to feel like that. It really will feel like home. You'll feel like groping the person. <laughs> And this could be very soon. I just got like two weeks, potentially two weeks. There will be a heart to heart within. They just said within two weeks, two days to two weeks, you will be having a heart to heart conversation with this person. All right, that's enough. You guys have yourselves a beautiful day. Hopefully this was helpful to you and I shall talk to you soon. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe and share them with your friends. Also, feel free to join me at patreon.com forward slash Amy Satori, where I post monthly energy readings, pick a decks, and other goodies for members only, including discounts for readings and being entered to win a free reading at the end of the year. Memberships start as low as $5.55 a month. Sometimes I even put my free collective love readings on Patreon first before uploading them here to YouTube. You can check the description of my videos for the most up-to-date information.